been a ride. I guess I had to go to that place to get to this one. Now some of you might still be in that place if you're trying to get out. Hey guys, it's Blondie here. Um, I'm filming the first part of the video because it screwed up. I don't know why, it just did. But um, I've already had the second part right here, <laughs> but it's screwed up in screen flow, so I have to redo it for the third time now. Screwed up two times, so go into Firefox, you're going to go to Google or wherever, your search engine, and you're going to search your your book, iPhone SDK, that's going to be my book I, I want to download, and you're going to put a space and then file type, wait, did I, oh, I messed up, file type, and then colon PDF. Okay? Your book, and then space, and then PDF. Go ahead and click on the book you want. I already did it. You want to hit save file. I'm going to cancel it because I already did. Then you are going to see it in your downloads here. I've already downloaded it like 10 times. And then uh, link in the description to this um, thing called Calibre. It's, um, okay. It's a um, pretty much a uh, book converter. Here it is. Um, link in the description. So pretty much you've got your book here, and you're just gonna drag it in to this, okay? But I've already done that, so I'm not gonna do it again. And here it is. It's right here. This one, as you see. And pretty much what you're gonna do is you're gonna. It's gonna ask you to set it up in the beginning, and it's gonna say what your devices are or what company you're using it for. And uh, you want to select Apple if you're using an iPhone, iPhone, iPod, or iPad. So pretty much um, just set that up. And then up here, once you have your book selected, you want to go up here to convert ebooks. You're gonna click on that. Then you're gonna you can edit it, do whatever. And then you want to keep the input format over here to PDF. And then on this side, you want the output format to be EPUB, and it should automatically be that if you select the Apple. So you're going to go ahead and click OK, but I'm not because it's going to take a little while because it says down here, Job. Jobs, it'll say 1 and it'll do it, and then it'll notify you when it's done. So when it's done, you're going to go ahead and click Calibre. Well, you don't have to, but I am. Then you're going to want to search. You're going to want to search Calib, Calibre lib, libra, Library, and it should be a folder. Go in it. Uh, here's the guy that made the application. Uh, that's just going to be there. You can delete it. But um, here's the guy that did the book. So you want to go to the, the author, then the book. Then inside it'll have a cover.jpg. It'll have the book and the author, EPUB, and then a PDF. So pretty much uh, you want to drag your EPUB into iTunes, like so. Uh, I'll just do it really quick right here for you guys. But I'm not going to actually do it. So you just drag it in over here. And then just drop it in and then it'll say like putting book or whatever in iTunes or whatever then you should just be able to go to your books over here and it'll be in here um, so sorry about that you guys um, it gave me an error in screen flow but you didn't miss anything um, it just uh, said up here by the iTunes little logo it just said copying to library the movie or book <laughs> so now if we go into books here it is, and uh, as you guys know, if you have the iBook store, it already gives you Winnie the Pooh book, um, just as standard, just to see what it looks like. But um, here's the iPhone SDK application. So I am going to go ahead and sync my device, and I'll actually show you that it's not on here yet. So we'll go into iBooks, and I will show you that it's not here. And there's the iBooks, and it's not there. Just Winnie the Pooh is there. So I'm pretty much just going to close it. And I'm going to go ahead and sync my phone here. Uh, where's books? Uh, sync selected books. And I'm just going to hit sync. And I will show you that it works. Um, there might be some more stuff I'm syncing. So I'll go ahead and fast forward this.
Alright, it's done. As you see on the top, it says iPhone sync is complete. Okay to disconnect. I'm going to go ahead and slide it across here. Go to the iBook store or iBooks application. And there it is. It's in there if you can see it. Alright, you guys, thanks for watching. Alright, bye.